Hello everyone, once again welcome to MPLS series. In this video of MPLS, we are going to understand Inter-Autonomous MPLS VPN option AB. Option AB. Till now, we have discussed option A, option B, option C and today you will understand option AB. Guys, option AB is combination of option A and option B. B. As you know, in option A, we configured multiple uh, BGP session between daughter 4 and daughter number 5, right? Multiple sub interface, multiple VRF on daughter number 4 and daughter number 5, and multiple BGP neighborship. But in option A, B, we are going to use some feature of option A and some features of option B. Because of that, you know, in option B, we configure only one session of BGP between daughter 4 and daughter 5. So we are going to configure only one session of BGP between daughter 4 and daughter 5. We will configure BGP neighborship for global routing table, not for VPN V4. Okay. But again, we are going to configure VRF on daughter number 4 and on daughter number 5. So this is the feature of uh, option A. We will configure VRF. Uh, you know for customer like we have two customers so we need to configure two VRF over here and on daughter number five also we need to create two number of VRF okay and rest configuration is like configuration of router number one nine ten three two eight eleven twelve seven and six right configuration of these router are exactly same like previous video so we are not going to discuss the configuration of the, the these router okay i have already configured this router and today we will have bgp neighborship between router two and router four also and router five and, and router six also so uh, let me first show you the configuration let me show you the configuration of router number one so guys on router number one if you will check so bgp vpn v4 unicast all so here on router number one we have these two prefix this is a prefix of side one of customer a this is prefix of side one of customer b right so router one is receiving these two these two prefix and router one will advertise it to with their neighbor and router two is the neighbor of router number one so let me check router two so bgp vpn v4 unicast all so yes, router router two have also the, these two prefix, and here I am going to show you BGP neighborship summary. So you can see today we have BGP router two have two BGP neighborship one dot one dot one and four dot four dot four. In last video there was only uh, BGP neighborship with one dot one dot one and two dot two dot two, and after that router two router two and between router two and router six we had one BGP session between rot reflector right but today again you can see between router 2 and router 4 we have one bgp session and on router number 6 also you can verify router number 6 router 6 will have also have two bgp neighborship so bgp vpn v4 unicast all somebody okay so router 6 have also two bgp neighbor one is 8.8.8 .8 .8, that is fine and new neighbor is 5.5.5.5 .5 this is similar like option a as you already know fine this is the configuration of option inter autonomous MPLS VPN option A. Now guys on router number 4 let me check router number 4 is receiving any VPN V4 prefix. So BGP VPN V4 unicast all. No router 4 is not receiving any uh, VPN V4, V4 prefix because here we don't have any VRF right and on router number five also you can check router number five is also not receiving any vpn v4 prefix from their neighbor so bgp uh, unicast all here also we don't have any prefix so as i told you that in option a b we will configure vrf on router number five and router number six oh, sorry on four router number four and on router number five so first of all let me configure the vrf here is the configuration you can see on router number 4 I am going to create VRF A1 for the side 1 of customer A. I am defining same RD value and same rot target value and again we are again I am creating one more VRF VRF B1 defining I am defining same RD value and same rot target value. After that you can see the interface fast ethernet 2 slash 0 which is connected with router number 4 this interface. On this interface I will run only no set command right only no set command and after that we will create two sub interface and if you are thinking that you that 
you, we are creating sub interface that means we will uh, configure multiple bgp session between daughter 4 and daughter 5 no we will configure only one session of bgp between daughter 4 and daughter 5 and you will see that will be for global routing table not for vpn okay just i am creating here uh, sub interface and i am defining the sub interface to vrf and then encapsulation encapsulation protocol is dot one q and ip address is 45.1.1.4 similar like option a okay after that uh, second sub interface fast ethernet 2 slash 0 dot 2 ip vrf forwarding b1 and then encapsulation protocol dot one dot one q and two and i am assigning same ip address on both sub interface so this is the configuration vrf configuration on router number four let me copy the configuration of router four similar like the option a and let me paste this configuration on router number two after running this command on router number four i am expecting vpn v4 prefix in the bgp table of router four c now we have vrf so router number four will now install vpn v4 prefix in their bgp table now it will accept the prefix earlier router 2 were advertising but router 4 were not accepting that but now so bgp vpn v4 unicast all you can see here it have received these two prefix done after that on router number 5 also we need to create two vrf vrf a2 and vrf b2 i am defining same rt value you can you know see and you can use different uh you know rd value also but raw target import and export should be same import should be same import should be that value uh, you know which router it is exporting so let me copy this part of configuration router 5 and let me paste this part of configuration on router number 5 let me paste this part of configuration on router number 5 okay and now I am expecting this 192.168.2.0 and 172.16.2.0 on router number 5. Let me check the BGP table. So BGP VPN V4 unicast all. So yes, here you can see we have these two prefix. Right now, next configuration is we are going to configure BGP between router four and router number five. So this is the BGP configuration, guys. You can see router number four, router BGP sixty-five thousand, and neighbor forty-five dot one dot one dot five remote AS sixty-five thousand one. This is the remote AS number uh, of router number five. Okay, and then address family VPN V four neighbor 45.1.1.5 activate so this is let me configure bgp on router number five also here on router number five hope you are familiar with this kind of configuration because we have discussed this type of configuration many time right so between daughter four and daughter five we need to configure one bgp session so this is the bgp session okay you can see i am create i am configuring only one session one bgp session between daughter four and daughter five copy con config t and let me paste the configuration on router number five now bgp neighbor ship will not come up between router four and router five the reason is so bgp vpn v4 unicast all the reason is sorry unicast and summary the reason is you can see this neighbor is idle the reason is we have not configured this ip address 45.1.1.4 on this physical interface we have not configured this ip address on in global routing table because of that bgp neighborship is down and guys we will configure it we you will see how bgp neighborship will come up uh, come up we will create one more vrf sorry one more sub interface on router number four and router number five for bgp neighbor okay and through that bgp neighborship router 4 and router 5 can exchange vpn v4 prefixes let me run some command before that like you know there is one new features in cisco ios that is inter as hybrid inter as hybrid means uh, let me first configure it here you can see in vrf ip vrf a1 here we can run one command sorry not this one let me first say no to this command and ip vrf a1 and here we can run one command inter es hybrid inter es hybrid means 
information of this vrf can be advertised by bgp global routing table getting my point this it is actually this command is telling to vrf advertise the prefix of this vrf in global bgp routing table okay and we need to run this command on uh, um, uh, another VRF, vrf also like vrf ip vrf b1 here also i am going to say uh, in, inter as hybrid and then on router number 5 also i am going to run this command on router number 5 also we will run this command interface sorry ip vrf here a2 and inter as hybrid exit ip vrf b2 and inter as hybrid and after that you have to run this command in bgp also like for bgp neighbor router bgp 65001 and here neighbor is 45.1.1.4 this is the neighbor of router number four i am going to say enter i am going to say neighbor 45.1.1.5 and enter sorry not here address family let's say vpn v4 and then neighbor 45.1.1.4 and enter yes hybrid okay and let me configure same command on router number 4 also here router bgp 65000 and neighbor foot, sorry address family vpn v4 address family vpn v4 and then neighbor 45.1.1.5 and uh, enter yes have it that's it this is the configuration now still you can see bgp neighborship is done so bgp vpn v4 unicast all so all and summary so this neighbor 45.1.1.5 is idle so now we need to configure uh, you know this neighborship this neighbor should should be up so for this what i can do i can create one more sub interface on router number router number four let me configure one more sub interface interface f2 slash zero dot let's say 100 here i am going to say encapsulation dot one q and uh, for vlan let's say 100 and here i can say native native by default native is one so if you will configure 100 vlan 100 as native so vlan one will be not your native vlan now okay and after that here also i am going to define one ip address 45.1.1.4 same ip address 255.255.255.0 and guys this time you can see this is a native right so hit enter and go to router number five and on router number first of all let me configure it let me check that bgp neighborship will come up or not with this command dot 100 and say ip encapsulation dot one q 100 and say native and then ip address 45.1.1.5 wait for some time let me check first bgp neighborship is will come up or not yes bgp neighborship is now you can see up and mpls uh, bgp forwarding is enabled on this interface automatically you can see the log message right and now if you can check so bgp vpn v4 summary and this neighbor is now working fine and this router have received two prefix from this neighbor now if you will check bgp table so bgp vpn v4 unicast all so you can see there are two prefix in this uh, vrf a2 and two prefix in vrf b2 and now end to end reachability you can verify end to end reachability because if route is available like on router number 9 we can check so ip route so ip route here you can see it have received this network through bgp fine and router number 10 so ip route yes it have also it have not received any route from bgp wait for some time definitely it will receive on router number one i am going to verify the bgp table so bgp vpn v4 vpn v4 unicast all 
it have also not receive this prefix let me take you to r4 on daughter number 4 so bgp vpn v4 unicast all this router is receiving this prefix and on router number 2 then on router number 2 so bgp vpn v4 unicast all uh, yes this router is also receiving but this prefix is not best only valid because here next stop IP address is 45.1.1.5 means router 5 and here next stop IP address is 4.4.4.4 so I think so we have some misconfiguration on router number 5 let me check the configuration VRF configuration here on router number 5 there is some misconfiguration we can check it like okay it is advertising this network with this next stop we have lots of option right we can configure lots of things on router number four so that router four should send their own ip address we can configure next stop self on router number four right uh, and uh, we can configure many other feature as well but why it is advertising this prefix with next hop of 45.1.1.5 on daughter number four here next hop is fine next hop is fine and on daughter number five here next hop is 45.1.1.4 45.1.1.4 that is fine and here next hop is 8.8.8 .8 .8, that is correct so everything is fine guys we don't have any problem here but we can check and we can troubleshoot it but for now let's say we can configure one thing on daughter number four on daughter number four we can configure one thing that router bgp router bgp 65000 and address family vpn v4 vpn v4 and say neighbor 2.2.2.2 and next hop next hop self and now on router number 2 let me check this prefix clear bgp vpn v bgp vpn v4 unicast star shop and so bgp table now you can see this prefix is best and it will advertise to router number 1 now on router number one it is fine and let me take you to r10 and this time on r10 you can see it have received one prefix through bcp right and i am going to ping also let me check the data plane ping 192.168.2.1 and source is 192.168.1.1 so ping is working fine so this is configuration of option AB. Just I have discussed only the configuration part of Inter Autonomous System uh, MPLS VPN option AB. Okay. If you have learned something, guys, please hit on like button. Otherwise, now we are going to start. Uh, t traffic engineering or we have some more concept i will check the syllabus if there is some more concept left then first we will cover that after that i will start traffic of engineering thanks for watching that's all for today bye bye